Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use break statement and continue statement in shell scripting. So let's start with the break statement. So the break statement is used to exit the current loop before its normal execution. So whenever we want to break out of the loop prematurely, then we can use break statement. So let's take an example. So for example, I have a for loop like this, uh, which initialize the value of i as one. And then we are awaiting the condition if the value of i is less than or equal to 10. And then here we are just incrementing the value. So this construct you already know, I already told you in the, uh, you know, last videos, right? And then I simply just, uh, you know, print the value of i and let's run the script and let's see what happens first of all so i'm going to just uh, run the script and it prints 1 to 10 which is a normal operation now for some reason we want to exit out of the loop prematurely for example if the value of i is uh, greater than 5 then we want to come out of the loop then what we can do here is we can use for example if and uh, then inside the if uh, statement we can say if i so dollar i is uh, greater than 5 then we want to come out of the loop so then and then fi for, to end the loop and in here we just give the break so just write break keyword here and what it does is whenever the value of uh, i goes greater than 5 then it this condition is true and the program execution comes here and it sees the break keyword and then it comes out of the loop so let's see what happens now so let's run the script and let's see what happens so you can see it's printing this because I just need to give space here and once again let's run the script and you can see it prints 1 to 5 here right so whenever this condition is true this keyword is called and then the program goes out of the loop okay so it doesn't print up to 10 even if the you know execution of uh, this for loop demands uh, that we need to go up to 10 and then it goes out of the loop but we have given the special keyword break so whenever this condition is met then it goes out of the loop so this is how you can use break to come out of the loop or break the normal execution of the loop prematurely so before its normal ending right now let's see how to use the continue statement. Now continue is a little bit different from break and what it does is whenever you use continue it uh, skips the normal execution for that iteration. So whatever comes after the continue keyword uh, will be skipped and then the program will go to the next iteration right so let's say uh, we have uh, this condition i is uh, equal to and let's say i is equal to 3 and or let's say we want to give the or operator here and let's say we say dollar i uh, equals 6 okay so we are just saying here that if i is equal to 3 or i is equal to 6 then we will give the continue keyword here okay and uh, the continue keyword will skip the execution of the loop uh, whenever uh, it sees 3 or 5 so let's see what happens so I'm going to just clear the screen and run the script once again and you can see it prints 1 to 10 but when we see carefully here we see 1 2 but there is no 3 here right and that is what we have written here 
and then you can see 4 5 and there is no 6 here so whenever this condition is met where i is equal to 3 or i is equal to 6 then this condition is met and then this keyword continue is called and what it means is whenever your program or your script sees this keyword in the loop then whatever comes after this keyword will be skipped so for example this uh, echo statement comes after this uh, continue keyword then this will be skipped and your program will go to the next iteration so uh, in case of three uh, this continue continue keyword is called so this will be skipped that means three will not be printed and then uh, in the condition of four this condition is not met so once again uh, this will print using this echo and in the case of six this is called and the, if this is called everything after the continue uh, keyword will be skipped so it will not print six and it will go to the next iteration and then it sees that uh, i is equal to seven and it will go normally until this condition is met okay so this is how a uh, break and continue keyword works in shell scripting i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now